Hi everybody, welcome back. In Prime Threads Part 1, we took a look at the 6n plus minus 1 formula that applies to all prime and semi-prime numbers. We separated it into two formulas and traced them starting from 5 and 7 into the positive and into the negative. As a thread crosses 0, we surprisingly found the other thread's positive formula and numbers occurring on it into the negatives. For example, the negative side of 5's thread follows 7's formula from the positives, and it consists of the same numbers as well. This inversion is also true for 7's thread. This discovery shows two individual geometric and algebraic threads unify all prime and semi-prime numbers within the structure of a double helix. Here we're taking a look at n equals 0 in the prime thread formulas. You can see the term number 0 has been added in the positives to both threads and in the negatives. On 5's red thread here, when we let n equals 0 on the positive side and plug that into the 6n minus 1 equation, we get negative 1 because 6 times 0 is 0 and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Since 0 is now the first term, negative 1 could be considered the beginning of this thread. Because 7 uses the 6n plus 1 formula, we get 1 as the answer because 6 times 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1. These are reversed in the negative, so when n equals 0 on 5's negative side, it gives us 1 because that's what the positive side of 7's thread gave us. When n equals 0 on the negative side of 7's thread, we get negative 1 from 5's thread. So not only do the formulas exchange sign and thread as they cross 0, the negative side of these threads, when n equals 0, produce the beginning of the opposite thread. So there are two inversions happening here. You can see the black diamond from 5's negative side correlates with the one on 7's thread, and the red diamond from 7's correlates with the red diamond on 5's thread. This gives us two focal points and speaks not only to a vortex, but to a torus. Here's where it really gets interesting. Using 5's thread as an example, imagine duplicating and then rotating it at 0. If we continue the rotation through 180 degrees, the negative side of 5's thread moves into the positives, and the numbers fall perfectly into place. You can see in the top image that the 7 circled in black on the left moves to the right-hand side of 0 into the location where it would normally be found. At the bottom of this image, you can see as 5's thread is duplicated and rotated, it combines with itself to create the same double helix as if 7's thread were still there. This poses an unusual question. Do these two threads exist independently from each other, or is one just a reflection of the other? The phenomena of phase conjugation both describes and is described by the double helix of prime and semi-prime distribution in our number line. There are two main types of applications for phase conjugation, optical and musical. I would argue they're likely two sides of one coin. Both would be applicable to this work. David M. Pepper's paper, Applications of Optical Phase Conjugation from Scientific American, covers some uses for this. In it, he mentions generating time-reverse light and holograms. The interference patterns embedded by code into the geometry within our number line also speak to a fundamental holographic quality as the substrate of space and time. This last image highlights the substructures of these geometries. You can see between each wavelength there are five numbers. The phase shift reduces the consecutive composites in those gaps to three and simultaneously creates the 111 twin prime code sections we touched on earlier. Those could also be prime semi prime code sections. This creates an infinite prime or semi prime and composite subcode within our number line of 1113, 
one 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 three one 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 and so on. At the bottom of this image, the negative side of five's red thread is shown in black, and the negative side of seven's black thread is shown in red. It feels intuitively like the yin-yang speaks to this area specifically.